Welcome back guys, it's Bernard Cross over Mark and Mark here and we're about to talk about our favorite team, the Toronto Raptors, yes, guys. Sir. We dedicated this segment just straight up to this because we're very excited with what they have to bring in this mm -hmm. season. So let's talk, what do you got, JR? So we've seen the preseason, I know Kawhi Leonard is a Toronto Raptor, if you guys didn't know, DeMar DeRozan got traded. Um, so it's going to be a very intriguing season to see what the relationship between Kawhi Leonard and Kyle Lowry build up. Yeah. But thoughts on the upcoming season? What do you guys think? How far do you think they can get to? How how can they build up this chemistry? How can they bring back this first seed Eastern Conference team back to this like glory days basically without you know Demar Derozan but with Kawhi? Man, I I they're going sixty plus mm -hmm. I think um, and NBA Finals. If 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 they don't go to NBA Finals, it's a failed season. Mm -hmm. So far, they look good in preseason. I mean, most of them are rusty. Kawhi's I say he's playing like maybe eighty percent of. Kawhi, mm -hmm. but the uh, I think this is the best team ever assembled. I the think so, so. I agree. I like agree the switchability much. on on <laughs> defense. Like their offense is okay, but their defense is going to be like insane. You can switch one through Any five. Any single player. Yeah. I mean, they can go small ball. They can go big man ball. They can go bully ball. Whichever one you need them to be, they're so versatile. I mean, this is I think the most versatile Raptors team I've ever seen defensively. Uh, and I feel like this is probably the most, uh, the closest they can have in terms of uh, a team that moves the ball consistently and, and looks for the best shots. I and think they got this the is, firepower too. Exactly. And they have, I mean, one of my favorite things about Kawhi is his game is so simple. It he is, uses a, it's not fancy, his, but If it's you watch efficient. his game, it's, it's efficient and simple. One dribble pull up, two dribble back out, not open pass. Like it's Quick so crossover different. And it's it's like, so different from DeMar, and I feel like this is going to help them. In a, in, in a very impactful way for the young players because mm -hmm. OG, uh, DeLon, I mean, all, I mean Danny Green, Pascal, they, they, they benefit, they, they really play well when you have a player yeah. that can kind of get them involved and kind of get them moving without having to play that ISO basketball. I mean, DeMar is a great player. I mean, I, I have, I mean, he's put Toronto on a map because of his play. Just, but the thing is, the style of play that he does, it can, kind, it can get stagnant. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It can put a team on, mm -hmm. uh, on notice. He, he does a lot of, you know, I, I see a little bit of James Harden in him. Yeah, the way I look at it is, like, he can score in, like, with four or five moves while Kawhi does it in, like, two. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like... And with much more efficiency. Yeah. 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 I mean... And the defense. Kawhi's defense is... Yeah. I it, mean, that's... that's just, best case scenario, he's the best defensive player in the NBA, right? If he's back to 100%, I mean, that's, that's my bet, too. I don't, I don't think we'll see Kawhi Leonard's MVP-type player... Maybe until, down until maybe half, down, half maybe the season. Yeah, because yeah. 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 so far yeah. preseason, he's gonna be stick to that eighty percent, eighty five percent so far. Especially in the beginning of the season, we're not gonna see him uh, go full out. Maybe because of mentality, he, he he's coming off an injury. He's he's getting his rust off. Mm -hmm. You know, he's trying to play as much as he can, and then you know, <laughs> it's, he's trying to adjust the new system too. But what also stands out is that Danny Green is a very good. He's a great shooter. And top shooter, and and good, defensive good, player. Yeah, good, is that they're like the, the, the two confident. players yeah. that they traded for DeRozan are like all defensive right. players. Exactly. Yeah. And like the sh the shooting ability, and then just add it towards their offensive. You know, shoot the three when you got it. You know, and dribble pull up is amazing. Free Danny Green, flow offense. Danny, Danny Green, uh, yeah, offense and defense is amazing. I I, wa I was watching the game of the day against Brooklyn. Even though this was this was just against Brooklyn Nets. And it's a preseason game. This defensive lineup is crazy. Like Kawhi Leonard, OG Ananobi, Danny Green, DeLon Wright, and Serge Ibaka. Maybe add in there Kyle Lowry or even Pascal Siakam. But that, the best part about that game is like first half, they never tried. And no. then second half, they're like, okay, let's, let's play defense. Let's, let's try. What, what they score in that quarter? Blow 11 out. points? And then it blo they blow it out. Yeah. Even though it was a preseason game, let's keep that in mind. But, I mean, that defensive uh, lineup right there causing turnovers every single possession and actually try like, continuing to convert their scores yeah. as well. Whether it be Danny Green pulling up for a three as soon as they get the ball, Quan Letter dribbling, fast break, and pass to the line, right? passes. Amazing. Like, and getting, trying to get fouls too. So it, it's, it's, it's great that we have so much people, I mean, we can mix and match all these players yeah. and have a great lineup, a great five every single possession, er, 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 like in all minutes of the game. So yeah. it's, I love this team. It's going to be exciting to see what they have going 
and throughout the season. I can't wait for the start of the season, to be honest. It's next week. It, it's <laughs> it's like, I can't I mean, wait. This is the most excited. Uh, this is the most I've ever been excited about the Raptors. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, me too. They have the the pieces that I've always wanted to kind of see the Raptors have because they, I think they had the potential to really beat LeBron. I just didn't think they had the star, the, the, the kind of superstar that yeah. they needed. Uh, I knew I, I know the Mars great, but they just needed the kind of superstar that was unselfish and efficient. Yeah. And, and I think they got that in Kawhi, who can play both sides. It makes such a big difference when you have a player that th- you don't have to worry about on the other end of the court. And and, and Kawhi kind of fills that up, and he gives even more because he's such a uh, elite defensively uh, as, as a player. And and for them, I think I'm, one thing that I'm actually predicting is they might be a trade that uh, they might do mid season. Just to kind of strengthen up their uh, maybe their their front court mm-hmm. with with Lowry, I think the long right is a better is a better fit to have in their starting lineup with Kawhi because I think Kawhi can play that uh, f- uh, forward kind yeah, of point guard. Because <laughs> I think Ka- I'm I saying think the that, long- that defensive lineup with the long right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean the the long right is a much better defensive player than I think than Lowry. Not I think Lowry is great, but I think the long right can switch. Whereas Lowry is great one on one with a point guard, but once you switch him on the big, he's he's too small, and I feel like the long can kind the of the long six five too. Lowry is just barely yeah. six. Yeah, so I think the long right is a much. So I'm worried that later down the season they're gonna realize that at the end of games when they have to play defensively, it's it, they have a lineup without Lowry. So yeah. like you're paying a guy thirty million dollars, and he's not you know, your your best lineup to kind of close out games mm-hmm. because your best defensive lineup and could be your best offensive ever because I think DeLon has improved himself offensively. He can score through. if he wants, man. Exactly. He can take people and off he the dribble. Need, he does, and he can take it off the dribble or he can be that spot-up guy. And I think that Kawhi could be that um, that closer that they have who can make the plays for them, not even Lowry. So what I'm saying is that maybe later down the season they could they realize that maybe they can strengthen out the front court. I can see that. And get, yeah. get a better, yeah. get a, maybe get a better... Trade. Role. Trade Lowry. I, I can see it. I can yeah. see it. I can see it because I think Fred Van Fleet is a better coming off the bench. Butler. For sure. Yeah. I mean, Jimmy Butler. So if they can get... I don't know. If, <laughs> if that trade could happen, I'm, I'm done. Like, that's like, I'm going to watch that, the Raptors that, that game. lineup could beat Golden State, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And keep in mind, well, and, and also, LeBron's not in the conference anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're that's tormentors. The, the, they're, gone. Not, they're, not, yeah. they're not scared of anybody at this point. That's the thing. That's the one thing, too. We got to see what DeLon Wright will do with that, like, point that, you know, he, if he plays at an all-star level and tries to beat out Kyle Lowry, Kyle Lowry's going to If he has a breakout changed. season, he might get Lowry. changed. And he, we might get that because it's it's a contract year for him, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And it, it's, there's signs. Well, it's one game against Brooklyn preseason game. He got ejected third quarter. Oh, yeah. And, then we, being and we saw a team without Lowry. I mean, Lowry is that one huge X factor when it comes to this Kawhi Leonard trade, yeah. being on the team. Also, Nick Nurse added towards that. Kyle Lowry, leave it, like he is the last one to figure out if this team can work. Mm-hmm. And if it doesn't, I mean, I think it's a good argument that he might get traded maybe sooner than later. And I actually don't mind. It's mm-hmm. like, that's what makes the team so great. Because our, I mean, our point guard depth is pretty it's, deep. Yeah, it is. Van Fleet, DeLon Wright, and, Even and Lowry. Even Lorenzo Brown. Lorenzo we can, Brown. We can get MVP off, of yeah. 905. Yeah, mm-hmm. we can get him like a third mm-hmm. stringer, and then we're, we're good to go. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, any last words you always want to have with the Raptors? What do you guys, one thing you want to say about the Raptors this year? Um, I want them to win it all, but they won't. Except for that, they do that <laughs> one trade. <laughs> one trade. And I think... They got That's it. it. I think I just I just want them to make it past Eastern Conference Final. That's I want to see the Eastern mm-hmm. Conference Final once again and see yeah. what see what goes from there. Oh, what I really want is just to for them to just smack Boston every time because mm-hmm. everybody's like Boston and Boston's Philly. Number Boston and one. Philly. No, 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 Boston, Washington, Philly. Cleveland. I mean, I every think the whole year, Eastern Conference. Every year, yeah. man. I just want to. Uh, my, Tr- my Tristan, is, Tristan just, Thompson. Uh, Shh, be quiet. Oh, yeah, I saw that video. <laughs> Tristan Thompson, we're still Eastern Conference chefs. Yeah, get it I just hope game. that not, no major injury happens to the team. I and just not hope going, that yeah. playoffs is so important. One injury away could, could potentially turn around a series and turn around a, a the season for the Raptors. Even like the so. minor injuries in like mm-hmm. preseason, it's like, oh man, I hope mm-hmm. that's, like, that's nothing. <laughs> I'd rather have them all injured now and it's recovered yeah. throughout the season and be good. So I just, that's all my hope for because I want them to really make it to the finals and I want to see a Raptors in that finals game. Next week, man. Next yeah. week, October, mm-hmm. Wednesday, uh, 17th. <laughs> 17th. <laughs> Next week. 
Well, that's all we have, guys, for our crossover. Amazing talk about the Raptors. We're so excited about them. Anything you guys want to say before we wrap up the season? Yeah, don't forget to follow us on all of our social media accounts, Pernod Crossover, YouTube, subscribe to us. We have full highlights there. Facebook, like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter as well. We follow Raptor Games as well. And most definitely, our Instagram page. Get all of our content there. Hope you guys can check those out. Give us a like, comment below. It's talk, it's share the conversation. You know, let's keep this conversation going. Yeah, and everything you said except the Lunchbox TV. <laughs> <laughs> go watch it. Go watch go the show. Watch keep keep it awesome. simple. Season, season yeah. finale coming season soon. Season finale next coming week. Soon. All right. Well, out of that, guys, stay ballin'.